you talk about how many black people support black. It, it's they, like this. Yeah. Yeah, but you got to go through something to for people to to relate to you in that way. They won't just look at somebody who's talented. Yeah. And and just go. Just this is talented. black it's folks. Just a talented look how long it took them to, to go with Chappelle. Well, it was the. After, after it was the really show. the show. It was the show. It was the show because it was the show. It was the show. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it was some black people that was on. Well, I was on board when he was on HBO doing HBO specials. Yeah, I thought it yeah. was funny then. Yeah. Right. Right. So funny. we thought, but the it wasn't accepted until he did the show with other people that had street cred like that. Yeah. So yeah. and that's when black people Start jumped on him. Yeah. But it, but he was already talented. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, yeah. He was, he, people forget he was on Def Jam with it, with no, it, at no, the height oh, of Def Jam when no everybody doubt. else was on there. No doubt. So the thing was, it takes, it's embedded in us that you got to come from the same struggle yeah. that we come from until you get to a certain level. Like Chris, Chris Rock. Bigger Chris, and blacker. Bigger and blacker. That's this this was, was the this was the thing, and then plus the movies that he was in mm-hmm. oh, yeah. kept solidifying his blackness. So yep. I like I was mm, like when that, I don't know about that. When that well, dumb, yeah, I'm well, gonna I'm get a, you sucker. I'm no, like, I'm gonna say CB4. Yeah, CB4. Oh, oh. You made your when you made when you make your living mm-hmm. giving the inside track on what black people say when white people are not around, then black people don't fuck with you like that. Man. Like you not really. When was black people not fucking with with Chris Rock? Always. When? What? Like I've been black a long time. I was never not fucking with him. Yeah, but even when he was even when he was, even when he was Pookie, Chris Rock, Chris Rock was when he was always, on Saturday Night Live. Saturday Live like look, I never was. So we were, with we him. were talking about this. Yeah, I said people will fuck with Tony more than they'll fuck with Chris. Man, I ain't never been around Chris. If I was around, never Chris, been around Chris, no, I've never been around. I've been around Tony. I know Tony. Mm-hmm. I just had earthquake birthday party with Tony, right. but I've never been around Chris, and I've never not like when they were doing this last thing about they was questioning his black. And I was like, when? And I kept thinking, like, when the fuck wasn't Chris black? Like, right. when? Uh, I don't know, Ali. I, I I think you're looking at it from a from a craft, like as a comic. No, I look at what I'm, he does, and I think. This what is he when, does is great. This is when I, this is the only time before I saw this thing with him and Ricky Gervais, I never wasn't fucking with him until I saw that. I'm like, what the fuck is it? Because I was, that's why I was surprised. Right. If, I, if I wasn't fucking with him already, I wouldn't have been surprised. I'm like, oh, he, he on that same shit. But when I saw the thing, I was like, what the fuck is Chris saying? Yeah, but Ali, you be in, and your, I was, you be in I was, your world. I know, you, but that's why I'm saying. When I saw world. that. Yeah. I was, I was fucking mortified. I was like, "Yo, what the fuck is Chris talking about right yeah, now?" That was weird. Yeah, but when you go, when you you talk weird. about bigger and blacker, mm-hmm. when yeah. you go, I hate niggas, but I love black people. Yeah, that's that's not a joke to black people. That, your I, aunt, I, your aunt says that. Your uncle, like our family members, say that. That's something that's, that shouldn't have been said in that's public, a, right? And then when you look at guys like shitty ass Bill Maher and these motherfuckers. It gave white boys an opportunity to go. Yeah, you know he's so brilliant. He got he's saying what I what I. I it's thinking. not that I don't like niggers. Right. I just don't like niggers. I love black. It gave them a place to do that, mm. and that was the thing that made them go. He's so poignant. He's so yeah. just like the last joke. I, go I, ahead. I, I think. I think. That's given. Chris way too much credit for giving them a pass for that. What do you, you mean? Could give, you can give a bigger, you could give a bigger portion of that blame to the hip hop community. That's true. That's who what you, do you give mean? a bigger it, portion of the N word. Saying the N, giving yeah. motherfuckers a license to say, the license to say nigga and a license to the, to distinguish the difference, you could say that with with football. You could say that with with anything. Where they yeah, but where, hold on. Where they where they separate? Where they separate this type of black person versus this type of black person? They don't have to. It don't have to be. I like I like black people. I hate niggas. I like rich 
I fuck with rich black people. I don't fuck with you niggas without even having to say it. It's always been the, because this is the thing, in this country, you will root for a black athlete, but yep. you won't root for black people. Right. That's right. The, so, I agree. So this I agree. is because, what, this is they're satisfying an entertainment aspect. You know, we've always been the workhorses for their entertainment. So they they can compartmentalize and go, I like you, but so, not these motherfuckers. So they already had the ability. Yeah. And they already had taken this, this, this leisure to do this way before that was even said. Just like with this. Me and um, Gerard G was talking about this comic out of Atlanta, mm-hmm. and it was and it was really eye opening. Mm-hmm. Talking about a country who loves America and root for America and stand up for the flag and America, America and yeah, I, uh, America versus everybody, America, America, yeah. America. <laughs> <laughs> then Manny Pacquiao, Filipino. Yep. Fights Floyd Mayweather. Yep. A black American out of Michigan. Grand Rapids. And <laughs> Gerard said he's at a, a fight party, and this white lady said, I hope Pacquiao knocks his ass yes, out. Isn't that crazy? And Arrogant. the first time an American American, because he's black, is rooting against their own, own country. Of course. Yeah. And you couldn't find a Filipino nowhere <laughs> in the world <laughs> going for goddamn Floyd. Yeah. I'm talking about it's Filipinos that knew he was gonna fucking lose and still bet on him. Yeah. Fuck it. Still bet on Pacquiao, goddamn it. I don't give a shit about Floyd American. <laughs> <laughs> give yeah. how great yeah, he but is. That, that's always, that's, that's white that's, folks this, do that all the time. This, this is what I'm saying. They already have taken mm-hmm. the leisure of doing whatever because they already created the difference between this and this. He already did it. It wasn't his fault. It's, it's no, what, I, I didn't no, say he's, I didn't, he didn't give them the, the leisure for it. Yeah, but Ali, here's my thing. It's you, look, I, I, here's my thing. I'm I'm not even mad at Candace Owens no more. Because Candace Owens is full of shit. She's pandering to white folks. Go get the bag. That's how I feel. You're a black girl, go get the bag. I don't like I don't agree with how you get the bag, but go get the bag. Hodge twins. Go get the bag. Because black folks are not giving you their money. You you grifting, you grifting white folks when you say there's no white supremacy and there's no racism. Right, right. Now, I'm I'm not mad at you because you get the bag, but when you get dottled by the white dude who runs the company, or when you get when they treat you with the racism that doesn't exist, right? Don't don't like come back. Let's like Dom, back. what was Diamond and Silk was like they were racist oh, in the Trump two pancake yeah, making fat yeah, bitches. They were like they yeah. were racist in the Trump. Yeah, are they dead? One of them died. One of them died. So okay. What, sorry. What, so, but what I'm saying is, when she, when she got, when she experienced racism, now you want to call the black. And we was like, nah, yo, go get the get, bag. Go get the bag. But you was over there. But you not invited to the barbecue. No. no more. You you could we'll go, hit you with the grill. Get, Fuck out of here. Get you grifted. I Smash get you. you with the- but don't come. You you not welcome here. Right. Okay. That's a different argument. Versus Chris. Chris is invited to the barbecue, always been up until he said that shit with Ricky Gervais. Gervais, and 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 even Seinfeld knew not to do that because I, I love you want to watch the I'm, video. Be, yes, it's like a minute and a half. You want to watch it? No, watch I, no, I, don't, I really don't want to watch it. I don't want to rehash it. You don't want to rehash <laughs> it? <laughs> no, because it, 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 it's, 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 it's it's disgusting with that. That I that he failed like that and for like I was it's like I was watching somebody who I was like really like yeah, yeah, I right. admire what no he doubt, said no and doubt. I was like yo why, why are you doing that even and I know why we get it cut off I, I know why Jerry, Jerry Seinfeld it's only ninety seconds I think you know why it's it. I know Jerry Seinfeld is not is not engaged in it because his best friend is right black, right black. right and George and George, his George here you go here you go go ahead let's try this it's a rich. Yeah. But when a black guy gets rich, it's countdown to when he's poor. Again. <laughs> <laughs> he's the blackest white guy I well, fucking know. And, oh, and then all the, the negative things we think about black people, this fucker. You're saying uh, I'm a nigger. 
Yes, you are the oh. nearest oh. fucking white man <laughs> I have ever. Oh. Hey, look, was, at Jared. Oh, look at Jerry. Look at Jerry. That was so I don't think he, he could do that. Oh, what? Uh, I don't think he has those. There's only two. You I, never I, found I mean, no, you don't even understand. Really? You don't no, you don't understand. Know. And that's hold on, hold on, hold on, what I'm saying. No. I wouldn't use it anywhere. No, exactly. These two, these two, see, we say niggers on stage. You guys don't. That's a, <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, just two teams here. That's the difference between yeah. That's right. That's right. We say nigger on stage, you guys don't. But that's definitely a pairing. Who, who we says say, nigger on stage? We don't. Well, you just did. Yeah, That's right. Uh, yeah. I'm, you and me say no, nigger in private. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the count? Where's the, the N-word count? Oh, watch, watch, Seinfeld. I've given it up just because it's played. I don't believe it's yeah. Yeah. I don't think you've ever said it probably in your life. No, I don't no. Think, no. Yeah, that's it. That's Good. the big, huge difference between you and me, I think. Well, you said you it. found the humor of it. Yeah. I haven't found it. Mm. Do yeah, go, go, Jerry. I mean, go, so. Jerry. And that's why we <laughs> go, Jerry. Can I speak? And I when I and, and when I saw Jerry, I saw Jerry not too long ago before, and I told him, I said I appreciated you on that. Because in when I was in Boston, I met Jerry's first uh his best friend, his roommate from college. This brother who's a dean of the of the you know Berkeley music school. My boy Chase introduced me to yeah, it. Yeah. We went to his house for three hours talking about Je this is before George Wallace, mm -hmm. before um in college. What's the other comic's name? T Mario 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 Joyner. Joyner. This brother was telling me, oh no, yeah. He's very like very he goes, oh no Jerry uh, Jerry used to hang with black people on campus. He was, I was, I went to his first open mic in college, mm -hmm. and I remember going because Jerry's like, "You got to come with me." We used to, he used to hang with black people. Mm -hmm. We used to try to braid his hair, shit like. That. I'm not even bullshitting <laughs> you. He goes, "Yeah." Jerry got off stage and he said, oh, "How did I do?" He goes, and this this black dude, big old black dude, Lawrence. He goes, "Uh, you're not, you didn't crack me up, but you're gonna be famous. Mm -hmm. Like you, you're you're clever, blah blah yeah. blah." And I made a recording, a visual. Yeah. So I can show Jerry. And maybe two years later, I see Jerry. I go, Jerry, I got to show you something. And he show, He goes, oh, shit. Yeah. I go, he goes, that's my first roommate in college. Yeah. So Seinfeld has been with African Americans. They've been a really very important part in his life. But you got white folks that have been around black folks who've been helped by black folks still say some stupid shit yeah. sometimes. But Seinfeld was... Well, I like that he he shut that shit down. He goes, I don't find the humor in it. That and because of Chris not checking it, that was then what, Ricky that's, saying it. That's what that's then what they, it was to me. It was going it, back and forth thinking that this shit's sweet and it's it not. was fucked up. What yeah. I